All right. Today we're talking about electric fields, and in this problem, a uniform electric field of magnitude 445 newtons per coulomb pointing in the positive x direction acts on an electron which is initially at rest. So here's your electron initially at rest. The electron has moved 0 0.03 meters, so from here to here. Uh, what is the work done by the electric field of the electron? What is the change in potential energy with the electron? And what is the velocity of the electron at 0 0.03 meters? And in what direction is the electron moving? Okay, so for this problem, I've already uh, I've already written the equations that we're going to use. So we've got work of A B. So we're going to say from A to B equals the force times x or delta x equals q and now q is going to be the electron charge which is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs okay times the electric field which is 445 newtons per coulomb times delta x which is going to be 0 0.03 meters right here all right so how we start writing this problem out is uh, work sorry, work of AB is going to equal Q times EX times delta X so for Q and that's just going to be the charge of the electron it's just the standard charge of the electron we're going to say 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs, okay, times EX, which is the electric field, which is going to be 445 newton, newtons per coulomb times uh, delta X which is going to be point zero three meters okay so when you do that when you do that you're going to get 2.14 times 10 to the negative 18 and now what units are we going to use well let's see here when we did this we've got coulombs newtons per coulomb and meters so these coulombs are going to be canceled out we're going to be left with newtons times meters when we take a newton which is kilograms times meters over, or meters over uh, s squared times a meter you're going to get joules See, so all we did was we added, uh, we multiplied an m on top, turned it to meters squared, and now we're going to be left with joules. So the work done is going to be 2.14 times 10 to the negative 18 joules. All right, so that is for A. Now for B, it says what is the change in potential energy with the electron now the equation right here is delta uh, po of potential energy is going to equal negative of work done and the intuitive way to look at this is right here you've got a potential energy and as you release that potential energy it is transformed into kinetic energy so as kinetic energy is being built or as work is being done you are losing your potential energy and it is proportionate so the amount of work done is going to be proportionate to inversely proportionate to the potential energy so you're going to say b or so I'm sorry so the uh the change in potential energy is going to be a negative 2.14 times 10 to the negative 18th joules. Alright, for C, it says, 
what is the velocity of the electron at 0 0.03 meters and in what direction is it moving? Well, we know that it's moving to the left because you've got a negative uh, you've got a negative electron, you've got your positive over here, of course it's going to go to the left. These positives and these, these uh, negatives, those aren't moving. The only thing that's moving is this little electron. And we know that negatives repel and uh, and unlike forces attract, so this little negative is going to be running as fast as he can to this positive direction. Okay, so for C, the first thing we're going to do is we're, we're going to ultimately use a kinematics equation, this one down here, but first we need to figure out acceleration. We've got delta x, now we need the acceleration so we can find the final velocity. So we use force equals mass times acceleration. So, and we can rewrite that as acceleration equals force over the mass. So what is the force? Well, if we look up here, the force is going to be equal to Q, which is the charge of the electron times the electric field. So. A is going to equal F over M and the force, so we got the force right here. So we got 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs times 445 newton coulombs over the mass, and the mass of an electron is 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms. Alright, so when you do that, uh, first thing you can do is you can you can cancel off these C's and you're going to be left with Newtons divided by kilograms. And if you look in here, you've got your Newton, so you would you'd write the kilogram, those would, and you'd be left with meters per second squared, which is acceleration. So when you do this, it's going to give you, acceleration is going to give you 7.8156 times 10 to the 13th meters per second squared. Alright, now we can set up our kinematics equation. So we've got V squared equals V naught squared, and remember the initial velocity is zero, plus two times acceleration times delta x. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to square root this to get rid of it, and so then you've got to square root that. So V is going to equal the square root of 2 times the acceleration times delta x. Okay? And that is going to give you, so the final velocity is going to be 2.17 times 10 to the 6 meters per second and uh, that's how you solve that problem not too hard